Hello, everybody. Today is October 15th, 2021. It's a Friday. And I'm. Uh, this is an update for the Sweetwater's Vista residential housing project. The progress update to show you what's going on, how much work has been done, how much is, has been accomplished, and how much remains to be uh, uh, completed. Uh, this is a site where they have injected uh, dynamite and soon they're going to explode this like the side on the left and uh, because this was like a hard rock uh, bed and they couldn't level the ground with normal bulldozers and other equipment they had to use dynamite so here as you can see there are workers uh, and inspecting the site making sure all the uh, trigger wires or ignition wires for the dynamite that has been pumped under the ground is all ready to go because within the next Any few second. seconds they're going to explode it Any so watch right now any second you will see the visual first and the audio to follow wow that was amazing the entire land lifted up now i'm going to show you the footage from the drone That was an awesome, awesome explosion. Or, uh, and as you can see, there's somebody else with a drone in front of us, down in the center area. And that drone is in the middle of the dust cloud, which is not very good for the camera me mechanical movements and the drone fan and all that because propeller, because you don't want dust particles getting into your motor or your camera equipment. But indeed he did get much better shots than mine because he was much closer to the scene but nonetheless this is still a decent shot it shows you the magnitude and the awesomeness of dynamite in construction so now we are going to go around and we're going to show you the progress and see what's going on as you can see work is going on every single day five days a week and uh, they're just working on it non-stop and substantial amount of land has been excavated leveled and uh, you know dirt has been moved back and forth piled up on one side later to be leveled in order to level the ground um, as you see the road stretches the pavement on the upper section of the uh, screen is where is the road that's going to be connecting this whole community to Point A Parkway. So basically from Point A Parkway, you could go to the post office from this road. Uh, this is the pile of dirt that they have accumulated in this area. And right here is where the springs used to be. I mean, the springs are still there. They didn't demolish that. That's protected area. And right here, they have more uh, dust that they have uh, piled up here in order to be used later. As you can see here, they have sprayed some kind of a green chemical or green material on, on these uh, dust piles. Now, I did some research and I asked a, people, a few people if they know, a few people if they know what this is for, and I got mixed answers. Some, some said that they use this in order to keep the dirt from flying around when, it, when the wind hits it, basically for protection to keep, keep it from becoming airborne and, you know, basically uh, polluting the surrounding area. That was one answer I got. The other answer I got is that it's some kind of a protection 
for the soil not to get wet with the rainwater. And uh, so I don't exactly know. And if I don't know exactly what it is for, I'm not going to make up stuff. And right here is where the spring used to be. And the, the spring is still there, you know. I made an independent documentary about the spring. Check, Make sure you check that out on my YouTube channel. And here they have excavated a lot of uh, dirt from here. They have gone so deep here. I don't know what the purpose of going so deep is. Is it because they want to investigate to see what the rocky, if the, if the bottom of this uh, hillside, is it uh, soft or rocky or what the story is. Based on that, they need to make their designs or what the reason is. But they have really, really excavated a lot of uh, dirt out of this area. This is the protected area, which is not going to be touched. It is going to be remained untouched. And uh, all this is the green protected area. Everything within the, uh, you know, bottom side of the orange boundary is going to be the protected area. And as you see, uh, it is a lot of, a lot of work that has been accomplished. Moving this much dirt and excavating this much, uh, uh, you know, rocks and all kinds of stuff out of the earth is not a joke. They're working very, very tirelessly. Uh, as you can see, the truck is spraying water in order to keep the dust from becoming airborne just for you know air quality control not to uh, contaminate the air and um, now this is a good site where you can see how rocky this area is I mean it does appear to be all uh, like dirt and mud but when you actually dig the ground you realize that well there's a lot more rock and big chunks of uh, huge uh, rocks than actual dirt. So this place is pretty, pretty rocky and tough to dig. And all this uh, digging and uh, construction will add up to the price of the home that you will be buying here. This street will be hitting, uh, this road will be heading to the post office. Now, on this uh, pile of dirt, they have sprayed a lot of green um, chemical, whatever the chemical is for, but there's a lot more green chemical. Now I see a lot of flies and bees flying around. I don't know if these flies and bees are attracted to these chemicals or what the story is, but I see a lot of flies. Wow, impressive. Impressive to see how much work they have accomplished. That's what's impressive. This is not a joke. I mean, you take a shovel and you dig the ground. One, a single shovel, you try to move it from right to left and you get tired. And look how much work these mechanical machines and cranes and bulldozers do. That's, uh, if humans would have done this by hand, manually, it would have taken years. Look at that. That's a lot of work. Now, I did post the final layout designs, or I should say maps, of this uh, uh, construction site that explains how many residential condos, single family homes, and uh, attached condos detached condos the full enchilada is in that uh, map that i posted which you can look at now this is the water channel the creek that the water of which is sourced by the springs and it's going to the lake sweetwater lake that is this uh, bulldozer is working on another entrance for this community which is uh, basically attaching point a parkway to this community and this this very street will be reaching out all the way to Austin Drive by the post office this intersection is 
Pointe Parkway and Hamasha Boulevard. It's written Jamacha Boulevard, but pronounced Hamasha Boulevard. And again, the Green Creek, well, the lushness of which is owed to, the, to those springs that generate water throughout the year. Now I'm going to give you a perspective from a distance that can, it, which will give you the full picture of what's going on. So basically this is the full picture and the very front is, uh, you know, Madison High School. I'm sorry, Monte Vista High School, that's, that's not Madison High School. I'm thinking of Claremont. That's Monte Vista High School. And... Um, the corner uh, intersection there is Sweetwater Springs and Boulevard and Hamasha Boulevard, and that's the new park. And the right side of the screen is the new park that they just built. And this is basically the full picture of the construction site from a decent amount of elevation. And then now the mountain to the very far, far, as you can see, that peak is Mission Trails. And then the one that's closer, that's Mount Helix. That's north side, by the way. That is the north side of this construction site. And this is the east side of the construction site where you see the KB Homes down below on the left and Rancho San Diego at a very, very far distance. And that is uh, Steel Canyon School at the very, very far. And Hamul is below those mountains very far. That's San Miguel Mountain. This is Lake View at the Highlands Ranch community. And that is the lake, Sweetwater Lake. All right, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to get future updates about our community, wildlife, and nature. Thank you.